I'm normally a medium foundation coverage kind of girl for the day to day, but it is helpful to have a good full coverage foundation routine in your back pocket. Um, if you have like an event you're going to, if it's a work event or a wedding or anything like that. So this look is a full coverage foundation look and I will be sharing three steps to take to make sure a full coverage foundation applies really well, looks flawless, and lasts all night. So the order you apply products does kind of matter. I'll be starting with skincare and then I'll apply the foundation and we'll finish with some setting powder, but you'll notice that my eyes are already finished before I start the foundation. I do that anyway. Usually when I'm doing my makeup, I put on skincare first, then do my eyes, then finish with my foundation. But in this video, to show you the order I'm applying the skincare, I went ahead and got my eyes out of the way. So I'll start with skincare, then foundation, then setting powder. So if you wanna see how I got this final look, just keep on watching. So really no matter what level of foundation you're wearing, whether it's full coverage or light coverage, you always wanna moisturize your skin. Especially if you're using full coverage though, I like to use a serum and then a primer. The primer tends to be a little bit more hydrating on the skin than just a general daily moisturizer. But first, a serum because that sinks into the skin a little deeper. Um, I'm using Ulla Henriksen's new Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum. This is like a really pretty lavender color so it instantly brightens your skin. Um, the other ingredients in it target fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, it helps your pores look a little bit smaller. This sinks into the skin really nice and provides all day moisture as well. So I like to apply the serum first, let that sink in for a minute, and then go ahead with the makeup primer. So after that serum has sunk in a little bit, I'm putting a primer right on top of it. This is by Tatcha, the Silk Canvas. It is a very silky, luxurious primer. Um, it provides all day moisture for me, and it makes this perfect canvas for putting makeup right on top of, especially full coverage foundation. Full coverage foundation can feel a little drying. If it's a matte finish, it may look dry. So spending a little bit of time before you apply it, moisturizing your skin will make a big difference in how it looks and how it lasts. So the full coverage foundation I'm using is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I've been using the concealer for months and love it. This concealer covers under eye circles and blemishes better than maybe any concealer I've ever used. So I was very excited to give the foundation a try for days that I needed that full coverage, flawless look. The shade I'm wearing in this foundation is 3.5. I like to pump a little bit of it onto the back of my hand and then pick it up with a foundation brush and always start in the center of my face and work my way out. I need more coverage toward the center than the exterior of the face so I can kind of concentrate the product on the middle and then work it out. If you want flawless foundation that'll last the whole day, the whole night, whatever you need it for, applying with a brush will make a big difference. Don't apply full coverage foundation with your fingers if you need it to last a really long time. Go ahead and use a brush. You'll get the best finish. You won't get any kind of lines or streaks from your fingers and it won't add another layer of oil to your skin like your fingertips can because a brush should be clean when you're using it. So I've only done about half of my face here and you should be able to tell which half I did. Um, a lot less freckles are visible on this side than this side, but it's not so full coverage that you look like a porcelain doll. That's what I like about this foundation. It looks flawless, but you still look like an actual human being <laughs> with dimension to your face and freckles if you have them. So I always like to apply concealer after foundation. I've seen some people do that in reverse where they put the concealer on first and then the foundation. Whenever I've done that in the past, it always messes up my concealer. So I like to put the foundation on and then any areas that need concealer, like under eyes or any blemishes that I may have, I can spend a little bit of time afterwards with a concentrated concealer to take care of those areas. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. So same line of the foundation I used. Um, this shade that I'm using is Fair Warm and a little goes a long way. I'm just going to apply it on my under eyes and that's kind of all I need it for today. So I'm using the wand and then I've been enjoying blending my concealer with my finger. Um, I know I just got done saying don't rub your foundation all over your face with your finger, but for concealer to kind of warm up the product a little bit, melt it into that area, which is a really delicate area of your face, I find that the finger gives me the most natural finish. So I'm just 
basically pressing the concealer right onto my under eye area to brighten where it's dark and then to cover any other um, blemishes or kind of dark spots that I have in that area as well. Another tip for concealer is to go maybe one shade brighter than your foundation. You can see that just kind of brightens the eye area and then always set it with a setting powder too so it doesn't budge the entire day. The step you never want to skip if you need your foundation to last as long as it can possibly last is to set it with a setting powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I used her Secret Brightening Powder for under my eyes, but this is just a translucent loose setting powder for the rest of the face. So it doesn't have any brightening agents to it. It'll just simply set your makeup. So the thing you may lose when you're doing a full coverage foundation is some dimension to your face. It may look a little flat. So don't skip highlighting and contouring, or if you're not into that sort of thing, at least applying a little bit of bronzer to your face so it doesn't look like just one flat panel of foundation. I'm using the Kevin Aquan The Contour Duo. Um, I'm not a big contour and highlight kind of girl, but a little goes a long way when you're using a full coverage. So I just picked up a little bit of the contour powder and very softly, barely touching my face, contouring under my cheekbone and then bringing it along the edge of my hairline. Again, the point here is just to make it look so it's not one color of the same foundation. And then going a little along my jawline and I'll repeat this on the other side as well. The Tarte 12 Hour Amazonian Clay Blushes are some of the longest wearing blushes I've ever used. Um, the shade I'm using here is Celebrated. It's a really nice natural looking flush. Um, my lipstick is going to be kind of a bright peachy watermelon color, so I wanted to choose a neutral, soft, natural looking blush. I'm picking up some of the product and just kind of swirling it on the apples of my cheeks for a hint of color but not a strong blush shade. The last tip I wanna give you in regards to full coverage foundation is for touching up midday. If you get a little oily, if you're hot or anything like that, make sure you choose a translucent setting powder to set it. Don't add any more liquid foundation to your face and don't add a powder that has any color to it. It'll look really cakey and blotchy. Conversely, if you feel like your skin is getting a little bit dry or your makeup's just looking flat for any reason, using a setting spray from, hold your hand far away when you're applying it so you're not spraying yourself right in the face, but a setting spray will kind of help revive makeup that's been on your skin for a while and will help combat any kind of dry, flaky areas. So those are two tips if you need to kind of refresh in the middle of the day. So I hope these tips help you if you're wearing a full coverage foundation for anything you have going on, whether that's a daily look you want or if you have a wedding or a work event or just something important that you have to go to that you don't want to worry about your foundation. You know you've put it on in the morning, you've done everything you could to make it look flawless all day, and you're sure it's going to hold up all day. <laughs>